what's up guys in this video we'll take a look at how to create this 3d scene using a today image and we'll also look at how to create this material of foggy effect in the background if you can see in here so we'll create this entire material from scratch not only that we'll create a instance of the material and you can see that it is actually in 3d the fog is appearing and we'll create all of this from scratch using unreal engine we'll be able to fully customize this you know using parameters and yeah let's get started and let's learn how to create this in unreal engine All right, to get started, what we'll do is we'll select the games and then go to third person template and then give a project name, whatever you feel like, and then go ahead and click on the create and it should create the project. So we have this empty third person template project. And in here, we'll create a new folder called images. That's where I'm gonna import a AI generated image. You can create any image you want. I just got this from I think from mid journey, uh, this um, forest scene. So I just dragged in here and then I'll show you here what it looks like. This is the scene. So I was thinking this was really cool and then I'll create a depth effect in here. Uh, so we'll, um, another thing I did was basically I exported this. You don't have to do that actually. Um, you can just use the image that you have and basically what we'll do is we'll take this hugging face the this uh, jaw depth and we'll put in here as an input image and then generate the depth uh, map and actually this was not the right download i actually had to use the download on the actual thing which i'll show you later so let's create the material first here so let's give a name called a uh, depth material and then we'll create a new material and basically I will go ahead and drag the the texture image uh, that we had initially brought in so I'll just drag in here so it will generate the texture sample with the original image I'll connect the RGB with the base color and then I'll probably turn it to a plane so we can view in here this is where we want to actually add some effects and here, this is the download button that I want you to create. So go ahead and click on that download and drag that image uh, that you've generated and put it in there. And yeah, that's a depth map that we have. So basically what we can do is from the content browser, we can drag that depth map. And this is what we are gonna use to create that uh, 3D foggy effect. Uh, next, what we will do is use the power function um, and then grab the red channel in there and then I'll create a parameter this is uh, for the another power and that's basically the strength you could think of um, for that power that we're going to use later and then you can change it to maybe uh, 1.0 and from here another thing we can do is basically create this uh, click on a three and then left click so that you get this three channels and we'll use this for color and I'm basically uh, grabbing a reference to color within the scene so we can use that as a fog color and converting this to parameters so we can change it later as well Next, we'll use the um, M and then left click so you get a multiply node. I'll connect that base with the A part of the multiply and then the B part I'll connect it to the emissive, sorry, to the multiply and then you can create the emissive. There you can see that it generates the fog effect, but of course um, we might want to invert it. So for that, we can use one minus and you can connect the base to that one and connect to, to, to the from the one minus to the a um, and there you go you can see that it's uh, foggy in the preview that maybe that's the way we want that too but we definitely can adjust with the parameters that we get so 
I'm also using this lerp node in which I'm connecting from one minus to the a, the uh, a, and then what I'm doing is um, also connecting that original one from the b, and going from that to the actual um, multiply node. So that way, now we can. Uh, right now, it definitely looks a lot foggy, but don't worry. Uh, we'll make this as a parameter so we can actually um, change it in the material instance. So I kept it back to zero for the alpha value and one would give, you know, so it will make us some sort of switch where we can slide the value between zero and one. So that's why we'll create another parameters. So I'm uh, to generate the parameters, I'm just clicking S and then left mouse click. That way we can define a default value in the material instance. So we can save this and basically we can apply this. So to apply the dev, so I'll create a material instance in here. And pretty much the, the your you have a material here, um, which actually is, you know, in it gives a preview of 3D and 3D foggy effect although it is not quite good still it is good to you know play with this so i had to play with some settings and make the power to 0 0.05 so it actually looks like um you know it is coming from within the scene um we can also add um the panner and some you know uh, cloud uh, texture to give some sort of you know effect of uh, movement so what I will do is maybe grab a smoke uh, texture from here and then connect that to our, uh, you know, basically multiply with the color node and then use that to generate some sort of pan or, or to create a motion within the scene. As you can see, I'm multiplying the B and then the A from the, uh, sorry, the red channel from the texture itself. and then connecting that to the B channel in the multiply node. And then we are, um, we'll connect the panner. Um, so I'll go ahead and grab this panner in here and then connect to the UV basically. So we are basically doing this simple trick to create some movement. And yeah, I think I still need to add some X speed um, and that was, once we add the speed, then we should be able to get some movement in here, which I will do here in the second as well. So it would be maybe 0.3 and you can see there is a movement. Um, maybe you can make it subtler by using 0 0.03. So you can pretty much play around, but definitely we can, uh, we can change it later if we want to make it as a variable as well. Oh, sorry, I mean a parameter as well. So now you can see in the scene, uh, there is uh, some movement created uh, three with the 3D fog effect within the 2D image. And not only that, we can actually create the um, 3D uh, uh, actual 3d model uh, as well using the depth map that we have uh, but here you can go ahead and try and play with the numbers that you like you know maybe 0.2 i was thinking more subtler um, but feel free to use what you think is appropriate for your scene so i'll go to the modeling uh, the tab and then go ahead and create this um, basically a rectangle um using a rect and then basically i'll create a rectangle and hit accept in here um, next what we will do is um we'll pretty much distort it using a 3d depth mass so uh, let me actually move we can move this up a little bit so that we can see it better you know and yeah, maybe make it unlit as well so that we can see the actual thing in here. Um, 
as we go in here we can stretch this a little bit actually be careful with the stretching i did over stretch um so you play around with what might be a good stretch for um the the thing itself um, because as you can see i did had a stretch mark on my 3d created object of course that also comes with the distortion the amount of distortion and subdivision that you make as well so to do that what we'll do is in the modeling tool itself click on the the displace node uh, and instead of purling noise use the texture 2d image and in the displacement map we can use that 3d depth maps that we just generated from the hugging face so go ahead and apply that in there and uh, you'll see a little distortion uh, not much um, but I definitely went all in so maybe this is this is where you want to play a little bit because once you accept it um, the modeling tool is uh, you can't go back I, I don't think so once you hit accept so uh, be careful with how you play with this because I definitely changed uh, the subdivisions and intensity as well I definitely went all in I think I went <laughs> 100 on the subdivisions as well uh, and then that definitely I was thinking the more would be better but maybe I was wrong in this so after I hit uh, that one I hit accept and then what you can do is basically apply this material that you just created um, into the yeah as a material for that um, for the item so there you see the material go ahead and apply the actually the instance of it and there you have it uh, now only thing is it, it does have a little depth the only thing is you will have to rotate this um, and you can see in the back there is some depth projected uh, or displaced I would say and then I would yeah basically move this a little bit and then if you go close to it you can see this is actually feels 3d of course there's some stretch mark but you can see the fog is actually on the background so yeah this is how you would create an a 3 version of 2d image uh, using AI and yes adding some movement of um, of course the the fog effect next what we can do is basically um, we can change the parameters and stuff to play around and see how uh, the, it reacts but this does have a depth of course there's a stretch mark and stuff but I will let you play with it. Um, hopefully this was helpful um, and interesting to you. Um, yeah, and then uh, this would be all. So I'm just playing here and changing colors and stuff. So feel free to create your own thing using your own image. Um, yeah, and then it, also if you feel like this channel has helped, please consider donating or supporting me by buying me a coffee i'll put on a link there as well and i will see you on the next video until then keep playing with the ai keep playing with the unreal because i think ai and unreal are the futures and uh, the earlier better you learn um, you will be able to keep up with the pace on because ai is going to take over <laughs> i think it's going to take over a lot of stuff so yeah uh, keep on playing and I will see you in the next video. If, if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, put them in the chat and I will see you in the next one.